All right, so I just went to Wells Fargo and I just got 35,000 in a line of credit for one of my businesses. I'm running a little funny sequence because I got some plays coming. I'm going to go get some shit with these credit cards that I'm getting. And I was like, okay, let me go ahead and run another sequence. So I just went to Amex and I just got approved for 19,500 for one of my other my other businesses. So yesterday I went and got 20,000 from Troy's. I'm about to get another, uh, I'm about to get a line of credit with them. Today I got 35,000 from Wells and then I just got another almost 20,000 from American Express and I'm not even done with my flooding sequence yet. That's just the power of what knowing what credit, you know, credit can do for you, what business credit can do for you and really start learning stuff so you can start implementing and buying things that make you money. So I'm gonna use all this money to go buy something that's gonna put more money into my pocket. And this is free money, this ain't my money. Okay, so yes, I know you see the title of this video of how I got almost $100,000 in less than a week, and that's exactly what this video is. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to get almost $100,000 in a week, strictly based on my personal credit and my business credit. Let's get into it. Okay, so my name is CEO T. Wright, aka Tommy Wright, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you for coming back to tune in to gain some knowledge on how you can better your life using either your personal credit to get business credit or just using your personal credit to level up. Either way it goes, this is the channel for you, and today I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to use my credit to go get almost six figures worth of funding. So first, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about my credit, about my personal credit, and about my business, my business credit, yada yada, because of course, and not just anybody can walk into a bank and go get $35,000, go get $20,000 at the snap of a finger. So I do have over an 800 personal credit score and my profile is built out to be a fundable profile. If you don't know what a fundable profile is, I will leave a link down in the description that takes you to a video that explains exactly how you can create a profile that is fundable for banks to want to give money to you. But me personally, I have over an 800 credit score that I've worked very, very hard to achieve. And I like to teach other people how they can achieve the same things that I have as far as my personal credit is concerned but the good thing about business credit is you can use your personal credit to go and get business credit now the thing that separates the two is that whatever accounts or debts or whatever that I have on my business it does not reflect on my personal so me going to get loans through my business or going to go get lines of credits credit cards through my business do not appear on my personal credit profile so what does that mean that means that I can do what I want with this money without it personally affecting me so that's why business credit is so powerful and that's why I like to use it a lot but in the very near future, I am going to be doing a big acquisition, not big to everybody else. So it's not going to be a couple million dollars or anything like that, but it is my first business acquisition slash business venture that wasn't my own personal thing. Uh, I don't want to say too much because it's kind of a surprise and I don't want to jinx it. I want everything to go correctly and everything go right. But once it happens, I promise I'll make a video for it. But lately, I've been trying to get a lot of funding so I'd have enough capital to sustain exactly what I'm trying to do and enough capital to prove that I'm able to do what I want to do. Oh. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been going to different banks, getting different funding, going through my funding sequences, using just my business. Now, my business is over two years old, and that's what a lot of banks like to see. If you don't have a business over two years old, that's fine. You can still get funding. You just have to make sure your personal credit is stellar. But I do have a business that's over two years old, and that business actually does over six figures. So I'm able to kind of just walk into a bank, show them my stuff, and like, hey, give me money. And usually they don't have a problem with it because I have have the revenue that will support whatever loan they're giving me and then I have the personal credit score so they already know I'm a trustworthy person so I was able to match almost a perfect personal credit score to a business that makes money is over two years old and has a pretty good business credit score once you marry the two it's kind of hard for banks to deny you but there's still ways that you can get funding if you have bad credit if you have a new business or you have a business that does not make money and I will make a whole separate video that will show you exactly how you can go and get funding without having any of the three things that I just named but for this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to go and get all of this money. So what I did first was I went to Truist. So Truist is kind of a new bank. So Truist is a collaboration between bb and and SunTrust. They decided to come together to make one bank, which is called Truist. So because they're kind of a relatively new bank, they kind of are lenient with the underwriting. So they don't require as much and they don't really trip about, you know, like if your business does this or like they don't, they're not as hard as like Wells Fargo go chase like they're not as they're not as strict with their underwriting guidelines so you can go and get you know a good a bit amount of money if you don't have all the things that I said that
that I have. You can still easily go get a couple thousand dollars from Truist just like that um, if you just do the bare minimum of what I say. So Truist has a 0% APR credit card and for that 0% APR credit card, you can get upwards of $50,000. Now I got approved for a little bit over 20 and I also have a line of credit by the time this video comes out. I have the line of credit that's gonna be between 30 and $50,000. So on day one, I went and got a little bit over $20,000 from Truist day one and I walked out one inquiry on my credit report and they gave me the, the 20K that same day because I have good personal credit, I have a fundable profile, and then my business is over two years old and my business actually makes money. Now, I did not even have a bank account with Truist. That same day that I opened a bank account, I was able to get that business credit card. They are not a relationship bank. You do not have to have a bank account with them for years and they see all your cash flow and all this kind of stuff. You don't need all of that if you're going to just go get a business credit card with Truist. Just make sure your personal credit is on point, your business credit is kind of starting, and it would help if your business was two years old, but if it's not, you can still go get some funding. So after Truist, I went ahead and I went to Wells Fargo. Now, Wells Fargo has been my bank since 2017. When I was 16, my mom opened up a bank account. She was with Wells Fargo, so of course, it was only after that I'd go with Wells Fargo as well. So all these years, I've been with Wells Fargo, and I had a business bank account with Wells Fargo, and it was for the business I was going to get funding for. So they were able to see the transactions that I had coming in and out of the account, which of course boosted my likelihood of getting a big credit limit for credit lines and for credit cards but this is not always the case for everybody else you can jump from bank to bank without having a account first not every bank is a relationship bank and Wells Fargo technically is not one of those but it did help that they were able to see my records and see how much money I had coming in and going out so about two to three days after I left Truist I went to Wells Fargo I could have got a business credit card as well but that's not really what I wanted what I wanted was the line of credit so I went and got the line of credit the line of credit was for $35,000 and I don't want you to think I'm lying so here is my proof right here. It has my name has everything on it. I have $35,000 with Wells Fargo that I'm able to use at any point. So right now around this point we're at like $70,000, $80,000 that I have in credit in less than a week. Now, as soon as I leave Wells Fargo, I went on my computer, Amex has been blowing my line up to get the new Amex Blueprint line of credit. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead, let me go ahead and do it. It didn't have a hard inquiry tied to me because if you know Amex, Amex will allow you to get five different products without even having a hard inquiry on your profile. So what I did was I went ahead and I applied for the business line of credit. All they do, they have you upload links to your bank account so I was with Wells Fargo, Navy Federal, and all I did was put my bank accounts on there. They went through my bank statements, I guess virtually, and then they gave me a number based off of that. Now I can't give you the exact percentage, but usually it's about 10 to 20% that they'll give you for a line of credit of whatever you have coming in and out of the bank account each month. So same day, you can see in the video, I actually showed it, that I got almost $20,000 from American Express. And that same very day, some supervisor called me and said, because of my relationship with American Express, all the cards that I have and I'm always in good standing, I always pay my bills. They gave me the lowest APR, which was prime, whatever prime is right now, I think it's like eight or 9% plus 1% for their line of credit. That is unheard of. Usually it's prime plus like 3.75 plus four. But because I had such a good relationship with them, they gave me prime plus 1%, which is the lowest, lowest that they offer. So of course I was excited. But there's a couple things you need to know before going into these banks and trying to get lines of credit and credit cards. So banks are starting to change their underwriting because a lot of gurus online are telling you to do X, Y, and Z. I'm gonna tell you right now, virtual offices do not work anymore. Do not get a virtual office and then put that on an application. They will get, you will get denied immediately. While I was at Wells Fargo, she asked me for my business location and I actually have a physical office. Right now I'm in my physical office and she looked it up on Google and she said, okay, good. I just wanted to make sure this wasn't a virtual address because they will deny you on the spot for a line of credit. Now I'm not saying this is every single bank, but the two banks that I went to, Truist and Wells Fargo said the exact same thing. So because a lot of people are putting things on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, a lot of these execs and CEOs are seeing everything that's going on about their bank. They're changing the underwriting guidelines to make it kind of more difficult and make people that actually are qualified able to go and get funding. So do not use a virtual address. Just go ahead and use your house if you don't have an office or just go get an office. If you can't afford it, just use your house. They're not gonna give you a lot less money just because you have your house address or whatever. 
whatever. Gurus have been saying this for years, but it's kind of debunked now. So basically that's how I was able to go and get almost $100,000 in less than a week. And if you have any questions about how I was able to do this or anything that I can put on the channel that will make it easier for you to go get business lines of credit or business credit at all, let me know down in the comments and I always answer my comments either with the video or I'll just type it right there in the comments. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in and like always, I'll be dropping every single week. So make sure you tune in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.